I'm in shock. Not like in a bad way, but just I felt like the course was just giving some birdies and I really thought, you know, we have a lot of heavy hitters here that I'd maybe be in the hunt or like, you know, tied for the lead. So really stoked to be where I'm at. The first few holes were pretty much bullseye birdies for me and felt like I was super accurate off the tee and my upshots were feeling really good. So besides like a few little mistakes, I felt really good out there. I have mixed feelings. I feel like I left a lot of out there. I think I was executing most of my shots very well, so just have to like dial in to get that extra bit of focus. I think today was interesting. There was some wind, some not wind, and I think that kind of makes you second guess your shots a little bit. I'm really happy that I kind of kept in it, got the birdies where I could, and climbed back into the lead card. I've actually had lots of putty rounds like this. I just haven't been throwing the disc as well as like today, but I finally found a way to throw well enough to give myself those opportunities for birdie as opposed to like making those putts for par. <laughs> Honestly, I think I have the skills. I just have to have the right mindset. So I try to tap into the right mindset tomorrow. And if I can keep up with the drives and, and put myself in position to birdie, then everything's going to be fine. Hello and welcome to round two of the Preserve Championship, powered by Prodigy Disc. Another sunny day, very warm, and a little bit more wind action today. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two huggies. Uh, Hello, friends. We're doing it. We're here. It's the Preserve. You said all those things already. I'm tired. <laughs> How are you? It's been a long, it was a long day out there today playing in the wind. And this course is one of the longer tracks that we play on tour. Look uh, at this. Yeah. 100% Circle 1X for Katrina and 100% Scramble. Um, Wasn't she bogey-free? I Close That's a probable fact, yeah. <laughs> 10 down, that's for sure. <laughs> that is unbelievable, an unbelievable showing. I heard one bogey on hole six, but that is how you do it. Rebecca Cox in fourth place on fairway hits and scramble percentage. She is getting out of trouble, birdieing 44% of the holes. Kristen Tatar, weird to say she <laughs> doesn't have the right mindset when she feels like she's always on lead card and winning everything. She's first in fairway hits, first landing in the circle I in regulation. She, I bet she's first in mindset too. Yeah, right? <laughs> How do we measure that, yeah. Udis? Ella Hansen, uh, third place in circle two putting. Can't, those step putts that we love so much here in the commentary booth, doing really well for circle one putting as well and getting to circle two in regulation, that's the best combo ever. Hole one, very birdieable par four, 615 feet. Um, right side is cleaned up and inbounds, left side OB where that tall grass is. Uh, you just want to get something in the middle of the fairway and then throw across this little creek-ish area that's all out of bounds. So you can see there's the landing zone and then you're throwing across that little inlet of water. Um, slightly protected green. Everyone's thinking about birdieing this one. Yeah, this plate is the second easiest hole of the day. It was one of the top three yesterday. The only thing that could get you down here is the hole one worries. Katrina with four strokes in the lead after one round. We don't, I feel like we haven't seen that big of a, a lead after one round. Yep, it's We're been not. so tight most of the year. Yeah, maybe a couple times with Kristen, but that's a pretty sizable lead after just one. Totally. Yeah. Katrina gets her pro line hurricane out there nicely. From Cincinnati, Ohio, Rebecca Cox. <laughs> Always love seeing Rebecca play. She's throwing Orbit Grace here. Her hair looks like it has some extra volume today. She might have got her hair cut at the Des Moines Challenge in Probably. the free haircut booth. Yeah, that was sweet. Good power. It's a little low and right, but get some good ground play, and she can attack from there for sure. From Estonia, Kristen Tatar. So last year, 19 down won the whole thing. Um, so it's pretty unbelievable for Katrina to already be double digits after one round. Yeah, they made, they took out a hole and replaced it with one that's more birdieable, but then they made 
14 and 15 much harder. Mm -hmm. So I'd argue it plays a stroke, and 18's harder too, yep. a little bit. Yep. Plays a stroke harder, I'd argue. And Maybe from two. Seattle, Washington, Ella Hansen. Although you would never know from the scores with everyone shredding. Good to see Ella get a couple of those hard to get birdies late in the game, like she said in her interview. And find her way in solo fourth, round out our lead card. She's taking a more hizer route. That is far. Yep, way down there. Like Classic Ella. Classic Ella, high, far. Colin Hanley with a hot round last year at nine down. And that was by a long shot. There were some seven sprinkled throughout the weekend. So Rebecca able to see the pin here going straight at it and then just trying to hyzer. There's a couple trees that do come into play. And she kind of clips one just a little bit. She's going to be about 45 feet. Dang, you're almost pin high. Some good shots. I like the hyzer play. Me too. Crashing into the screen, I think, takes some of the low-hanging tree branches out mm -hmm. of play. There's that perfect gap that Katrina just hit perfectly also. Bullseye. You can see a little more wind today than we were dealing with yesterday. It was pretty stagnant at least at the beginning of the round. It picked up a tiny bit at the back half. Today, we started out with wind and finished out with more. Kristen, kind enough to wear a skirt so we can see the wind in action. <laughs> yeah, we know what direction it is. <laughs> that was a great shot also. <laughs> Ella, man, so far up here. Just a little chip sidearm. She threw a swirly S-line cloud breaker off the tee. That looks like a nice stable approach disc. Catching the same branch she did yesterday, but giving a little bit of a closer putt. 43% of the field taking a birdie. Oh, man. Got to get it. Come on, Rebecca. It's a good run. 47 taken par. Not a lot of bogeys on hole one. This one played super easy and friendly. Saw this a little bit from Ella in the middle of the round. But overall, her putting is, like, pretty solid. I mean, she started really well yesterday, had a rough stretch in the middle, and then came back. Yeah. She's a circle two killer. Yeah. Like, that's where she's feeling comfortable. And we saw Kristen struggling a little bit on the putting green yesterday, too. It's yeah, she, hard to call it struggling when you still end up shooting a six down. But. Well, <laughs> I think we're she was 76% circle one putting, circle one X putting. And we're used to seeing her closer to 90%. So. Yeah. Looks like a struggle when in reality it's about middle of the pack for everyone else. Yeah. Fortunately, Rebecca not able to capitalize on her par save. Maybe some nerves. That's an area of her game that Rebecca has revisited a few times with some form changes. Yeah, her putt now is a little bit more spinny and linear. It used to be more of like a push with a nose, nose down. down. Yeah. And I think when she is missing putts, it's like that very nose down action. Yep. And that's one thing that's really hard to fix is your wrist angle and your putt. And totally. you can tell she sometimes slips back into old habits. But big props to Rebecca for working through these form changes over the years. She just keeps getting better. Katrina adds one where no one else can. Yeah. Old two, double Mando, out of bounds on the left-hand side, but it's very difficult to find. A little tiny gap, 280 feet from a wide open hole to a short technical wooded hole. Love this change here um, of pace with the elevated basket. This one is very birdieable. Everyone is licking their chops to get this one. It's tied as the second easiest hole of the day with 41% of the field getting birdies. There's just this one tree in particular you have to beat. You can kind of see it on the, the left side midway down the fairway. Yeah, once you get around there, it's really easy to scramble, even if you throw a completely the wrong angle. Katrina hitting a super early tree. Makes the Mando, and it's such a short hole that hopefully she can scramble from there. There's not a ton of danger on the sides. There is OB way left, like you said, but... And there's like a little drainage pond on the right, but it's true. casual. We'll see if she has a hyzer route. And that's a little bit early from Kristen, but she gets all the way through and is in the circle. 60% of the field getting to at least circle two. 
Ella going putter here, also early. And that's kind of the worst case scenario with kicks. You want to be left or right. Mm -hmm. that, that makes it very difficult to scramble. We'll see if she can pull out a turnover sidearm like she can. Let's see if Rebecca can show us the intended line here. Everyone's missed it by a little bit, though Kristen's did work out. This looks great. Just old, needs to chill. Old Ida Wild Rebecca not letting us down. <laughs> Shredding wooded holes. Gold line compass there for Rebecca. Yeah, do you know if Idlewild is one of the main courses she played growing up? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I thought she was from a different state her whole life. So. Where do you think she was from? I thought she was from Kentucky. Oh, I mean, <laughs> and like kinda. she like that she liked to ride horses, but she's not. No, no, neither of those. No, things. she's a city girl from Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> and when I told she her she doesn't ride a horse there. When I told her that, Rebecca was like, "Mad, what are you talking about? We've known each other for ten years." <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm really glad I asked this question. Yeah. And I was like, I must have had a dream that you were really good at riding horses. <laughs> <laughs> Ella gets into the circle for her recovery shot. Oh, just a little low for birdie. For that's her par save. Oh, Remember sorry, she kicked early. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice recovery shot. We were talking about horse bot <laughs> riding Rebecca. Which I have a pretty good visual of. Yes, Rebecca. Nice bounce back on an elevated basket. Yeah, I have a really great visual of her with a bandana around her neck. Yeah, hair just, is just bouncing. Yeah, saddled up and. Saddled just looking professional, looking like she knows what she's doing. Looking professional <laughs> on a horse, all right? Could any of you, uh, like, draw or paint? You know, maybe, like, take a stab at that for me. <laughs> Tag me in it. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina going to take the bogey. Rebecca and Kristen with birdies and Ella with the par. All right, back. I feel like they're putting more fist bumps in just like for me in particular. <laughs> this is just for you. Yeah, it's that's not what for, I feel like. It's not for our viewers. No, no, it's for me and this, I hope you all like it also. This is but like I don't care if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Hole three, another reachable par three, 324 feet. Uh, the woods line on the right kind of makes you throw a pretty straight shot. You see some women try to push that woods line and then hyzer in. Um, you see a lot of fairway drivers and mids, but some ladies throw in a full distance driver and just taking a little off. There's an OB line on the left that can come up fast if you kind of saw off your drive and get a skip that direction. It's, it always feels like a little farther than 324 just because it's like, I don't know. You can't I don't quite know why. just, you can't just, just hyzer, hyzer in. in. Yeah, not a yeah. dummy hyzer. You're having to really mind the angle of your disc. So the most common error is what Kristen's doing here, just hyzering out. But her disc checks up because obviously she's throwing something she's slow like she's speed. supposed to. Yeah, she's throwing a gold line claymore, so straight mid. Um, a lot of women who are throwing the faster speeds on that line will skip left. Love this from Rebecca. Swing in. Get some skip. Giddy nice. up. <laughs> <laughs> Giddy up. <laughs> Oh, man. Rebecca going lucid evader, so stable fairway. Uh, this is an active premium tailor, which is what Ella threw yesterday, which I thought might be a typo. I've just never seen the name of that disc. Yeah, me neither. Is it Taylor T-A-I-L-O-R? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. This is an SP Katrina Allen rift. Just a touch low. Another hole in the top three, easiest 39% of the field birdieing this one. Yeah, if you didn't watch yesterday, um, Matt and I both think that there's more birdies on the front as far as like at least being able to reach them easily. And they stretch out quite a bit on the back, though. There's still plenty of birdies out there. Yeah, you're stoked to get at least two out of three of these first three holes. Mm -hmm. The old stepper. Dang. Committed, just a little right side. Really great speed. Seventy percent of the field getting at least to circle two. Fifty getting to circle one. Let's see if Rebecca can get this birdie. Yeah, looking a little nervy, even though she just made one of those. Yeah, her the elevated basket was a straddle putt. Maybe sometimes that makes you uh, approach things differently.
Oh no. This is one of the worst feelings in the world. Yeah, we can all relate so heavily. And Rebecca's confidence is sky high. She's worked so hard at this. And <sighs> and it's probably plummeting. Like, this is so hard on hole three to come back from. I hope we see her dig deep and get some confidence. It's just so hard to believe in yourself when you make multiple errors in a row. And when a lot of the changes you're making in your putt are mid-season. So you're just like, oh, well, when do I practice this? Oh, during a tournament? Cool. When I'm on lead card? Great. Love this. Recorded forever. Excellent. <laughs> Kristen with a birdie. Ella with a nice comeback par. I mean, the good news is, is that she can just ride off into the sunset when it's all <laughs> oh over. <my> God. <laughs> we ride with you, Rebecca. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Shake it off, girl. That's right. Lift each other up. Trina going to hold on to the lead. Hey everyone, I want to let you know this video is supported by Manscaped. Manscaped is trusted by more than 8 million men worldwide for their trimmers, liquid formulations, and premium boxers. Their Performance Package 4.0 is a game changer when it comes to creating the ultimate men's grooming and hygiene bundle. The Lawnmower 4.0 is their fourth generation electric trimmer featuring a cutting edge ceramic blade designed to reduce grooming accidents and an LED spotlight for when you need a more precise shave. And because this trimmer is waterproof, you can trim in the shower and finally say goodbye to the mess on the bathroom floor. It also features a smart cordless charging system to give you up to 90 minutes of use with a full charge. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes a new Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer. The Weed Whacker 2.0 is cordless rechargeable and has a battery with up to 45 minutes of runtime and is created with proprietary technology that helps reduce nicks, snags, and tugs. Also included in the Performance Package 4.0 kit are the Crop Preserver Deodorant, the Crop Reviver Toner Spray, anti-chafing boxers in the shed travel bag. So go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you enter promo code JOMEZ at checkout. That's 20% off plus free shipping when you enter promo code JOMEZ at manscaped.com. All right, let's get back to it. Oh, oh four, 675 feet, a really fun tee shot to start. They put this log here, so no rollers allowed. Um, big turnover shots are the primary shot selected here. Maybe some forehands. You want to land right in this patch of trees or if you've got a big arm, push into this gap. Second shots just have to contend with this little narrow middle section, ideally poking through and giving yourself a putt for birdie, but this always plays as one of the toughest holes. Very hard to access that green in two. See a lot of pars on this one. Yeah, two very demanding shots. Very easy to bogey as well. If you put your second shot either deep or short in the shul. It can be really tough to recover. Kristen going Orbit St. Pro, and that looks really nice. Yeah, that's great. Um, an absolutely perfect drive will land just on the other side of those trees, but it's quite a tough angle to get all the way there. Yeah, it takes about 400 feet of distance. Maybe. We saw Paige blast past it yesterday, Ella doing the same thing. She'll be set up with maybe even a hyzer through that gap. And I, I do think it's intentional. Yep. Because um, that was a cloud breaker and Paige did a Zeus. So they're, they're throwing they're distance to, shots. Yeah, they're trying to open up that hyzer angle and just take those trees out of play. Katrina with the more uh, classic route. Yeah, yeah. That's a word I was looking for. It's going well for maybe, me maybe not quite far enough to open up the gap but we'll see she's pretty good with turnover shots maybe even a forehand yep rebecca a little bit too nose up and hyzers out more than you want this will likely be a pitch up to the mouth of the tunnel this hole can be tricky as well because you hear the wind but there's no flags to dictate what direction or where or if it's even happening i don't know why Kristen didn't go out in the middle of the fairway after her shot to give everyone a wind <laughs> read with her skirt yeah help us out <laughs> but it looks pretty calm. There was a little bit of a left to right when my card went through. Rebecca getting right to the mouth of the gap. She'll have just a little bit of work left to do, about 200 feet, maybe she, a little less. She might be a little pinched on that left side though. Okay. Ella looking like she's ready to attack this tunnel. This is a great angle to do it because if you're short right, it's kind of like a reverse S shape and it's kind of awkward. Whereas, ooh. 
This is more of a hyzer. An actual hyzer. Ella getting caught up though. She'll have a longish cut. Right around the edge of circle two. Kristen lined up so well for this gap, able to throw a nice straight shot. Comes up just a bit short, but she's putting for birdie from circle two. Maybe, did she even get in the circle? We'll see, it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> Katrina opts for the sidearm, keeps it too low. I think she's in the mouth of the gap though, and she can yeah. save par from there. Yes. Rebecca's third, thankfully a little short of the gap. Yeah, she's got a good line on this. Probably, what'd you say, 180? Yep. Yeah. Maybe a little le more. <laughs> less. <laughs> more or less. Yeah, more or less. She's <laughs> in the circle. <laughs> Katrina's third. Nice little standstill. A little bit of work left for both of them for their pars. Only 12% of the field taking a birdie here. That's only six competitors on the day. This is the fifth most difficult hole. Usually it's in the top three. Now this hole's easy all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's probably a good tree hit actually. Yeah. Let's see if Kristen's one of the, what'd you say, 12%? Oh, oh, she <laughs> is both hands in the air. <laughs> oh, I love the claim. So good. It always, I don't know, I feel like validated when she jumps too. It's like she can't get every putt there just by standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her run it in. She's so happy. <laughs> love that. Yep. Gets a turkey. Pull a little. How do you do it? <laughs> Pull a little. There you go. Ella, wide straddle putt around the tree that's quote unquote helped her. Oh, just a little low. Katrina with a nice par save there. 43% of the field bogeyed it, and it, most of those bogeys probably come from just missing a putt here. You think so? Not missing the tunnel? No, I think I feel like a lot of missed putts. Nice, Rebecca. Yeah, hey, good par. Only 6% of the field got to circle one. That's only three people. Wow. Do you know who one of those people was? Was it a, was it a hot goose? Oh, it might have been. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> she balls. <laughs> All right, it's getting close now. Kristen with a turkey, only one stroke back of Katrina, who's even par. Yeah, four holes and almost in three strokes. Holland, Switching. Hanley, and Juliana Korver are also moving up in a tie for third. They were on my card. They were playing so solid. Keeps are doing it. Everyone was birdieing everything. Hole oh, five is the brand new hole, 275 feet. Uh, most women going to throw kind of straight at this final tree right on the right side here and just hyzer out right before it. Really hard to park the hole. Uh, yeah, it's, you're happy to get inside the circle. Worst mistake is probably... Do you think left or right is worse, actually? I think kicking I think, left into the right is the worst mistake. Yeah, I think early left is terrible because I've been there twice and I know that, but I, I don't know about the right side. I feel it's like- It's not good. I've been over there. Just okay. keep it in the middle. Yeah, you got to. Kristen's going to- That's not the worst. No, she'll have a little chip sidearm. But it's not great. Katrina playing pretty conservatively. I don't know if that was on purpose, but it's not a bad play. She's got a circle two putt for birdie, and that's more than a lot of people have. Only 20% of the field getting to circle one. This looks really smooth from Rebecca. God. She's throwing that compass again, gold line compass. She's so impressive in the woods. Those technical shots are a huge advantage on this course because oh, yeah. there a lot of the birdie holes are super technical ella squeaking through wow and getting a putt that's like exactly where she landed yesterday same disc to lux link yep kristen with a kind of turnover sidearm line i gotta give a shout out to uh kaylin i don't know how you say her last name i think it's olsen or something like that mm -hmm. doesn't matter it does to her sorry okay anyway <laughs> she threw like a baby flex line and put it in the bullseye or wow. like just outside the, it was like so cool and technical wow 
Sorry about butchering your last name, but nice shot. Katrina, high right on the birdie bid. Stays close for the par. There were five birdies on the day. Surprising on this little 275 foot hole. I know, when I looked at the T sign initially and saw it was straight, like before getting to the course, I was like, oh, cool, birdie hole. Nice tunnel shot. Got there, was like, ooh, that's not. This is hard. Not what the sign looks like. Oh, man. Ella still not quite able to find that green on the scorecard. Ooh, four in a row. What are we calling this? Wait, it's a par. It was a nice recovery. You're right. It was a beautiful. Dang it, I was so excited. I was <laughs> I thinking about birds. Yeah, we want to talk about birds. Oh, uh, you're right. She had the forehand. I was watching. A four in a row at the preserve is something to write home about. We'll we'll come up with a really good bird for really when that happens. Good. You guys are going to love it. Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet that we've seen anyway. Katrina with a par as well. Rebecca, after laying up, going to take her par. <laughs> Just kind of chucks it in there. Yeah, 65% of the field taking a par here, so that's good. You're feeling okay with that. Yeah, Holland, two down through five. Juliana, three down through five. And Missy Gannon, four down through seven. Everyone's Moving. birding. Knowing what they got to do, come out hot. Hole six, 695, par five. This always plays as one of the most difficult holes. It's the third most difficult today. You wanna to throw something straight and far. A big forehand would be awesome, but not everyone has that in their bag. Your second shot is typically a forehand or a turnover right into this gap. You either land in there, or if you're a baller, you're way farther down the gap. Uh, your third shot is a tunnel shot. There's no out of bounds anywhere that you have to worry about on this hole. Just a lot of very rough, rough left and right. A lot of scrambling. The tee shot really dictates how the rest of the hole goes because the left side and the right side of this uh, fairway is very difficult to get out of. Kristen going fairly aggressive here with an Orbit St. Pro, and that is so good. So good. So far. Honestly, if you just get you know, maybe midway through that tunnel, you're in an excellent position. So Kristen about 30, 40 feet past that. Katrina going slower speed, SP rift. It's a little right side, but squeaks through. That's right where Kristen got through yesterday. I guess there's a gap. Yeah. I must have missed that in practice. You know, you just gotta try harder. <laughs> <laughs> really look out for these gaps. Mm-hmm. Rebecca with a lucid evader, so going a little bit more aggressive. It's good to hyze her out over there as long as you get in front of that grouping of trees. Yeah. It's very scrambleable. There's a a little bit of room. Scrambleable. Scrambleable. I just want to keep saying it. <laughs> Everyone at home, say it with us. Scrambleable. Scrambleable. Ella doing the same and getting all the way to the trees on the far side of the gap. That is such a crazy tee shot. Absolute unbelievable power and right through a gap. Katrina looking at some tiny little gaps here going left side, forehand, good angle, great positioning. She's right in front of that little tee pad. Ideally, you want to be just a little bit farther, but we'll see what she has to work with on this tunnel. It's doable from there. Wow, what a drive. Little early right side. I think she might have squeaked through it. We'll see. We'll find out. Together. Rebecca pushed deeper wow. than you want, but... She's so far, though. Yeah, she can't really penetrate the gap at all. She does a good job, though, of making sure her just lays down in the mouth. She might have to deal with a sidearm, though, on her third shot. Ella, crazy far. We saw some... Amazing forehand shots from her yesterday that were standstill or in positions like this where she oh. can't get any power from her legs, but she still rips it. That was like, this is what I've always wanted to see is an eagle look. I mean, ideally an actual eagle, but... Yeah, both. I was right in that tiny bush right there. It was very much in the way. <laughs> I, like, tripped over it in my throat. <laughs> Rebecca, uh, sorry, Katrina getting most of the way down there on her third shot. Kristen still opting for the sidearm, even tucked away on the right side. Uh, almost. Almost gets it through. 
These little trees on the left side are the birdie ruiners. <laughs> you think you have one in your grip and you're like, yes. And then you hit one, you're like, no. Look at that Ooh. smoothie cake sidearm. Love it. Wow. Too much. Lots of power. Zest. Ella forced to just chip Dang, out for I her birdie. Her to have a look. I know. Nice, nice little bullseye though for a very easy birdie, and that is unheard of on this hole. Very rare to have that easy of a shot. That's short anyway. Yes. I mean, she still had to work for it. Fifteen percent of the field getting to circle one in regulation for birdie. There was only four birdies on the day out of fifty competitors. Katrina for a long very long look. Woo. Great effort. Rebecca, definitely some work left here going straddle from the bushes. Lots of action in that backswing. Ella for the only birdie on our lead card. There we go. Haley King, Macy Vela Diaz, and KT Tati also getting fourth. It's just so crazy to see a less than 700 foot par five, and it's one of the hardest holes on the course consistently. It's fair, though. It is fair. Just, I don't dislike the hole at all. I think it's. I like it. Yeah, me too. Until I'm on the rough. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Someone wasn't green flagging or red flagging the driving <laughs> range. Did you see face? <laughs>Seven three hundred and thirty feet, par three. You're throwing up a little bit of a hill here. Um, the right side is kind of the main problem you have to navigate. Again, you can't swing out super wide. There's often a left to right crosswind coming through the tunnel that kind of blows your disc over to the right side. It sucks over there. So then you see kind of an overcorrection where a lot of women throw towards the pin and hyzer out just a little bit early. And the putting is tough over there. Um, definitely, kind of another sneakily difficult birdie to get even though it's only 330 mildly to moderately technical what is this how is she going through yeah, all that <laughs> a lot the wind was strong today too yeah. left to right you could feel it on the tee pad pretty heavily once you got to the green it wasn't as much as it normally is this looks gorgeous skip up so this fairway basically from the basket to about I don't know, 80 feet away is the lumpiest ground in the entire world. <laughs> That's you, true. You cannot navigate skips. It yeah, we've had surveys done, actually, <laughs> yeah. that say it's the lumpiest. Officially lumpiest. It's, uh, you really have to be careful walking, even, because there's a lot of places you can roll your ankle. So trying to get a, a ground play skip does not happen out here. You have to air this shot all the way there. Katrina throwing her pro-line tsunami, and that's kind of what I was talking about, where you... Um, Oop, highs are out. You can see the wind there. Highs are out to the left, and then all those trees kind of get in the way. It does look like Katrina might have an open look at it. Rebecca not messing around. Just laying up for a par. Looking a little glum about it. Yeah. The, the days when you're a little off on the putting green are the worst. You're just they like trying to survive. Like stress to the <laughs> max. Yeah. Once you start thinking. No, you can't do that. <laughs> Katrina, straddle jumper. Ugh. Banned. This basket is just like strangely high. It is. It is. Look Enough at it. Enough for you to think just about look it. look at it. Like usually that koozie is touching the ground on a normal basket. And it's not even touching the mound that they built for it. Oh, also Kristen birdied again. Yeah, Kristen doesn't care. Slow mess. I hate to admit this, but when I straddle putt now, because I don't practice them as much, I imagine myself as Kristen. <laughs> and oh. I try to like mimic the power form. Do you feel uh, like 
I made powerful f- and maybe a little foreign. I made four <laughs> out of five straddle putts today wow. and one out of, at circle two. Thanks, Kristen. I'm going to try it. Yep. Try Kristen form at home. Pro tips from actual pros who are watching other pros. <laughs> 22% getting a birdie on this one. That's so low for such a short hole. But like Erica said, it is oddly tricky. We got a tie. Lead change. And just we share. We're sharing. Mm-hmm. Just like that. And Holland then a Hanley. big old tie. Sorry, go ahead. Holland Hanley moving up into third as well. She was on my card there's, absolutely slaying. There's a big tie for third. There are like four or five people. 960 feet. Hole eight is the windiest hole that we play, it feels like. Um, we had a pretty ripping headwind off this tee pad, maybe a left to right cross. Um, you want to throw a huge drive that doesn't go out of bounds. It's kind of a sketchy tee pad because if you flip it over right, there's some really thick shul, lots of thorns, lots of poison ivy. If you go into the water by landing zone one, it can be really difficult to recover your par. I watched Holland do it today, but it's not as normal. It's actually a tailwind. I was wrong. <laughs> I was going to, yeah. Was it a tailwind for y'all? Uh, yeah, mostly. No, we, we had like a left to right kind of heady wind. Hmm. We were all thinking about it. No, I remember it being mostly tail because um, it kind of pushed your disc over towards that OB line. Yeah, this one, you want to bite off as much as you can to put yourself in birdie land like position. This. But this fairway is surprisingly skippy for how lush most of the grass is out at the preserve. This area is very fast, and you can easily skip into that water left. These are some big drives, though. Love the play where you go out towards the right side and just swing in. No danger. This plate is the sixth most difficult hole of the day. It's just a hard one to birdie. That final shot is so demanding. You have only six birdies on the day. Rebecca putting hers a little bit higher, a little bit more of a hyzer. Uh, uh, it checks up. So after this first shot, most people are just going to try to put something way out wide to the left and open up their third shot. There are crazy people that like to take that tunnel si- route on the right side. I don't think it's crazy. It's a little <sighs> bit shorter if you go that way. Uh, it is a little bit shorter. There's just a lot of low hanging branches and definitely if you don't get as far as you want to on your second shot, it can make everything really difficult. Yeah, that's true. I think it's reasonable. Like if you don't have max power, it's tempting to go that right side. It does shorten the hole pretty dramatically. But what Katrina and Rebecca are doing going on this side makes it just a clear shot into the green. Another factor is this green is very, very steeply sloped. Definitely sets up for rollaways if you come in on a harsh angle or if you catch the cage or the band. It's hard to reach the pin on a backhand too. There's like one tree on the green that's right in the way. So it forces a lot of sidearm approaches, which I kind of dig. Everyone just far as they do. Man, look how far Ella's drive got. Gosh, that's, oh, she's going for the right route. I kind of think she yanked that one. You think she was, I feel like she was fully sending that route though. No, could have been, uh, she probably, I mean, she's lined up that way. Definitely pulled it too far to the right though. Katrina throwing a big turnover to the green. She's got the height. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So good. What? Oh, my goodness. That is an incredible shot. Yeah, it is. What the heck? That's so good. That's That's so hard. And look, it's panning. It's panning right at the perfect time, too. It's not like it crashed in. Like, it was slowing down nicely. Yeah. That is such a technical line. That'll get you around going, huh? Mm-hmm. My blood's pumping a little bit. I'm excited. Ella, with the advantage here, having that distant sidearm, she's able to take a pretty bad mistake and turn it into a birdie opportunity. Yeah, a little bit tough right there. That's that one tree I was talking about. Might be in her way just a bit. Ella makes this hole looks like, look like the par five is soft. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Ooh, and here's one of the reasons why it's yeah. not. 
sucks in there. It's not good. Lots, it's like very boggy, lots, some mosquito water. Mosquito kingdom in there. Lots of low hanging branches. It's like a jungle. Slimy. Minis Minnesota <laughs> some, like, jungle. Weird water in there. Kristen with a really great sidearm, even getting some ground plate up the hill. And you can see that flag whipping. So while we watch all of our competitors be at least in circle two, I want to let you know that only 12% of the field got to circle one, 30 got to circle two. So this is, they're making it look super easy, but this hole is very difficult to get this far, especially yeah. accurately in the wind. Well, that's why we're watching them. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebecca manages to pitch out. Ella scrambled egg, gets the birdie. So good. Nice little straddle confidence builder on this hill as well. Yeah, that putt had great pace on it. Oh, Rebecca, a little low right. Oh, that's too many chains on hyzer like that. Oh, I feel like that should have stayed. Eh. Nice eh. dead center putt from Kristen. Tap in birdie. Katrina, that third shot was something special. And two birdies on a very difficult hold to maintain the lead tie. Check out Missy Gannon, seven down through 11, jumping into solo third. Out there with big smiles, I'm sure. And wrapping up the front nine. It's a par three, 297 feet. Water carry most of that way. Uh, the right side, is enough in the way that you're not really throwing the hyzer once again kind of forcing more of a straight shot sometimes you see the little baby flex shots um, and some people do push the right side and then swing in at the end the sidewalk is ob no wait no sorry there's a line off the water a couple feet that is ob the sidewalk is in uh, there's a drop zone if you land anywhere out of bounds and pushing straight can sometimes make putting difficult where Kristen just landed. We'll see if she has something to work with. I think she's close enough to the basket. But if you push straight about circle's edge right, it can be really tough to putt. Yeah, but that's the mistake to make. You're safe. You're still putting. You could do this, though. Like Ella, just throw a putter in the circle. No big deal. Trina with a flip up rip, uh, rift. Pretty. Pulls eye again. It's the koozie. The koozie that's on the ground and at an appropriate height. Unlike that other basket. This is a kind of a short tee pad. You can see Rebecca eyeing it up as she lines up her shot. Yeah. Rebecca gets her fusion evidence just outside the circle. The tee pad is definitely a massive factor, actually. Yep. Like you're thinking about kind of stepping up onto it. Very short. Yeah, a lot of us don't have a large enough run up where ooh, oh. we like think about or practice step ups onto the tee pad. Like Haley King does it all the time, but a lot of us aren't really thinking about it. I think Rebecca with a really great bid, stead center, kind of a heartbreaker there. Kristen having to straddle out wide as well. See, that right side is so th weirdly thick for mm -hmm. being close to the basket. Nice. Now let it go two down on the front. Ideally, you do want pedal to the metal on the front nine because that back nine plays so tough, especially all the way back as we head back towards Tournament Central. It's a lot of headwind and with very tight OB lined fairways. Yeah, it's nice to have a cushion. Kristen certainly has a cushion. Yeah, she's five down through nine. Uh, Katrina getting to two down after a little bit of a slower start. Missy Gannon, though, jumping 12 spots. Pat Merch and Sick. Hall and Hanley both six down through nine not a bad way to start the round no and Haley king five down through nine as well jennifer allen uh juliana corver Paige pierce valerie mandujano a hot goose round out your top nine ish and it looks like you have to be about two under par to be in that area um but the back nine plays rough and like i said the wind got a little bit more intense and it was weirdly like gusty and shifty as well shifty swirly yeah um so it made it was definitely in your head the whole time but thanks for uh, hanging out with us on the front nine. 
We got nine more holes in round two. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're your two hot keys. Honk. Honk. Thank you.